Hey everybody, Curtis here with another pedal demo for you. This time it is the Mojo Hand Effects Dew Drop Reverb Pedal. I'm going to be using my Gibson ES335 into my Matchless Lightning 15 watt amplifier into its 112 speaker cabinet, mic with a Sennheiser E906, and here is my clean tone. <laughs> Here is the Dewdrop Reverb. So what we have here from Mojo Hand Effects is a very cool reverb pedal. Um, really gets those spring reverb sounds and then a little bit more. Um, has three unique controls. Uh, mix, which is your dry and wet uh, ratio control. And then we have dwell here. Um, and it gives you a very long decay sound. And then we have a tone control, which is incredibly handy on a reverb pedal. Sometimes you have a bunch of other pedals in your rig and your sound gets a little bright or a little dark, maybe, potentially, and you just want to add some of that shine back in, um, or you want to uh, take off some of that high end. So um, let's just listen with all the dials at 12 noon, and I'll let you listen again, and uh, here we go. <laughs> So now let's see what happens when we get really, really wet with the guitar signal. We'll crank the mix all the way up. So you can really weir, uh, hear how uh, wet your signal can get there. So we'll back off on the mix, um, and then let's show you the decay. And uh, I'll just give you clean signal again. So here's clean. So you can hear as you crank up that dwell, um, it adds a little uh, sweet little bit of modulation and it sounds really, really cool. Um, I'm going to leave that dwell about there, turn up the mix a little bit. I just want to show you the tone control now. We'll go back to a clean signal. Now here is wet with the tone at 12.
And now we will bring, sorry, I banged the camera there. Bring the, the tone back here. bring it to three o'clock. Uh, this will be on the brighter side of things. love that nice bit of modulation that is in there. It sounds super cool. So now we will go to its darkest uh, setting here. Now we will go all the way to the brightest tone setting. So uh, pretty cool. I love that. Nice little modulation in the trails. Um, so I'm going to back up the tone to about here. Um, and now what I want to do, I'm going to leave the mix there. I'm going to crank the dwell all the way. I'm going to turn off the reverb. And I'm actually going to use a volume pedal and a delay, um, the mirror ball delay from Mojo Hand Effects. If you have not seen the demo for that delay pedal yet, you need to check it out. It's super cool. So I'll let you listen. This is the mirror ball um, just uh, on its own. So it is a super cool, um, great sounding uh, analog voice delay. And um, now what I want to do is I'm just going to fade. I'm going to pluck some strings, and then I'm going to fade in the volume pedal. That is feeding into the delay. And then we are going to the reverb, so some volume swells for you. So this is what it's like without the reverb. And now we will add the dewdrop reverb with its nice, sweet little spring like properties with modulation. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Dewdrop Reverb from Mojo Hand Effects. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, like if you like. Uh, dislike if you absolutely have to. Please, please subscribe to my channel if you can. I do appreciate all the likes and comments and views. So have a great day. Take care. Bye.